Assalamualaikum. So today I want to demonstrate to you on my project entitled the voltage variation analysis for solar power plants. So this project contains three parts, which is the main part and the control part, as well as the measurement part. So for the main part, there are uh, PV array, um, MPPP controller that uses PMO technique, an inverter, um, load, this is the load, and then uh, the grid. So this is the simulation for no capacitor bank. Uh, we need to measure this bus, which is the VADC and IADC. Okay, this is my control circuit, which is the VF drip control. This drip control consists of frequency control loop, um, VDC control loop, and voltage control loop. This control loop can uh, determine the PWM that is injected to the inverter. Okay, let's see the overview of the circuit. For example, I ran for 0.2 time, then So, uh, this is the graph of the power factor. This is the graph for active power. This is the graph for reactive power, Q. And then, um, here is the here is the graph of uh, VADC voltage grid IADC and I grid based on the value of power factor we can determine that the time taken can manipulate the power factor so let's say uh, I will run for Zero point zero three eight four. The simulation time can produce zero point eight five power factor. And this is the active power. And this is the result for my reactive power. And then uh, these are the data collected, which then will be tabulated in the result. And then uh, let's say um, we change the time to 0 0.0438. 438. This is the data, and then all of this is the value, and will be tabulated in the result. So let's say we change to zero point four two eight.
then this is the waveform which then will be tabulated to the result. So then next step we will add um, capacitor bank here. Uh, I will add um, 500 kilobar um, capacitor bank. Okay. So this is the capacity bank. I will insert the value here. And then we run as usual. So this is the result for the power factor. This is the result for active power. And this is the result for reactive power. As well as the VADC, the voltage grid, the IADC, and the I grid. So these are the values that is obtained, which then will be tabulated in the result. So that's all for me. Thank you.